Greetings, everybody. My name is Mark Jacobson. I am a professor at the Air Force's School of Advanced Air and Space Studies, or SAS. And if you're watching this, you are presumably a SAS student, inbound or current, an alumni, someone in our broader network. But if you've found your way here with no affiliation, you are welcome as well to listen in as we discuss tools to help you succeed in the life of the mind. I put these videos together to help fill what I see as a gap in how SAS equips its students. We often leave it to each of you to figure out how to succeed in an environment like this. And there's value in that of having to learn as you go. But I also believe in giving you kind of a tour of some of the tools available to help you succeed. Many of you come from a very different background to what we do here at SAS. You have been pilots, intel officers, space officers, cyber officers, or any number of other things for the last 10 to 15 years, uh, measuring yourself against execution and tactical excellence, and have all done extremely well. Now you're in a new environment with a very different kind of challenge, which is to live a life of the mind and develop the habits of mind to consume huge amounts of information, to think critically, formulate your own thoughts and write and communicate. And this is a very daunting challenge for some of you and it's a very new kind of challenge. And going in with the right philosophy and using some of the right tools can make this new venture much easier than it would otherwise be. I'll give you one example that might resonate with many of you. When I first started learning to fly gliders at the Air Force Academy, we were expected to memorize checklists and general knowledge before we ever set foot in an airplane. And it's the same for pretty much any airplane in the Air Force because the minute you take off and are going 200 miles an hour or 40 miles an hour if you're in a glider, things happen very fast and you want to be focused on the act of flying, not using all your cognitive energy trying to remember what's the third item on the checklist. If you can master the core essentials, those become automatic, and now you can focus on learning to fly. And once flying becomes automatic, now the joy really starts. You can give all your emotional and intellectual energy to the mission and the things you do with the airplane. The plane becomes an extension of your body. And I would say something similar can happen with academic skills. If you go in without skills, if you have no system for taking notes, if you don't know what your goal is each time you sit at a desk or as you try and do research or write, you will flail, you will feel out of control, you will be stressed, you will probably spend more hours a day ineffectively studying and not seeing your family than you otherwise would and can spiral down. On the other hand, if you master some essentials and develop good workflows early on, assisted by the right tools, you can feel more in control and give your intellectual and emotional energy to the act of learning. And that's where the fun really starts, when a lot of these skills become automatic and now you can give your full powers to learning the topic of the day, formulating your own thoughts, and writing. So in these videos, we will start with a little bit of philosophy about how to do this kind of work using the mind, and then move into a range of specific tools that are out there and workflows to help you succeed. I will tell you up front that this is a highly individualistic thing. Everybody studies and learns differently. All I can do is expose you to some things and tell you what I do, but what I do may or may not work for you. So I encourage you to allocate some of your time to this meta level of how you learn, how you study, experiment. If something's not working, get rid of it and try something else. But hopefully what's here will at least get you pointed in the right direction. You're always welcome to come by and talk to me or other faculty members to get their ideas on how they study and learn and write. So with that preface out of the way, let's dive in.